Roy Mates. Well, today we're going to talk about commissioning the diesel engine. Now, you could just throw the seacock open, start the puppy up, make sure there's a little water coming out the back and take off. That's kind of a recipe for disaster. So I did mine today, took my time with it. No point in rushing. But let's go over a little bit of this. And this is just the order of things, how I did it. And your boat's probably going to be a little bit different. You may need some other things. Uh, check the engine zincs, uh, some other things that might be particular to your boat. But this is just the basics that I looked at. All right, so check the engine coolant. Took the cap off, looked in there. Looked a little low. I'm going to have to add a little bit to that. Um, check the hoses and clamps. <laughs> First hose I looked at, the clamp came right off. Look at this. So I need two uh, clamps there. Check the air filter, which is fine. I mean, it's not like the air filter on a car where it's got real fine. It's, you know, pretty bulky. I mean, the holes in it are pretty good size. Didn't think there'd be a problem with it, but safe to check it. Um, check the belts and last time I was down I was looking at the belts and I could see the engine belt it's probably okay but that's just barely it it's just okay it's not really good enough so put a new belt on that took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to but anyway uh, the fuel filter check that that looked good. There's a little bit of crud on the bottom. I think I'm going to carry a spare filter. I don't think it needs changing yet. It doesn't look that bad. Uh, I think it's in good shape. Keep looking at the uh, hoses as you go through everything. I checked the um, throttle cable, uh, the shift cable, make sure all of those are in good shape. Now I'm going to get ready to change the oil. That'll be coming up soon. So I did all of these things before I even thought about starting the engine. Now I'm going down in the uh, lazarette. First thing I'm going to do is I take the cover off of the C strainer, make sure that's clean, that looked good. Put that back on, open the seacock. Now I'm ready to start the boat. Uh, you know, you got to heat it up before you change the oil. But all the other things look good. The belt looked tight. And that's another thing. I'm going to run it for a little bit. Check the tension on that new uh, engine belt I put in. Boat started right up. A little bit of water coming out the back. Good sign. And not necessarily. I mean, you look at this. It's not coming out real strong. So I know I just replaced the um, impeller on the uh, water pump last year, but I'm thinking, all right, I'm not getting good water out of here like it should, even when I revved it up. So shut it down, opened up the impeller, or opened up the water pump. The impeller looked in great condition. I mean, just like brand new. Well, it was last in the middle of last year. So then it dawned on me, wait a minute. Let's go back topside, get down into the lazarette, take the cover off of the sea strainer, open the seacock. There's virtually no water coming up. I mean, normally when you do that, it starts bubbling over the top. So I'm thinking, you know, I got to get down and clean the prop up to take the boat over to uh, dry haul it and paint touch up the bottom. I'll bet you my intake is pretty well covered also. So there's no point in just letting it run and hoping that it's going to clear itself. You know, that, that very seldom works. But that's the important things. And, you know, when we're talking about the impeller, while you're, you're working on getting ready to change the oil and that, you may just want, it's not that difficult to get to the back of the water pump, 
check that impeller as long as you're there. Get it all done. Get it right so that when the season starts, you're not backlogged and trying to get things done. Oh, transmission fluid. Check the transmission. Make sure that the fluid is good in that. Now, it doesn't take a lot of transmission fluid, but make sure, check your uh, plate, See what type, some of these engines, some of these transmissions use a motor oil, some use a uh, transmission fluid. So it looks like mine is going to use an engine oil uh, based on what this plate reads. But I'll take it into the shop and see what the experts think on that. But until next time, guys, happy and safe boating to you, your family, and friends.